live streaming, live streaming. This is offline. Hang on a second. Let me fix this. Hello, we're rolling. You may be wondering why I'm in a new environment, and I'll tell you. Because I was uh, listening to a to a Maunu episode, and he was talking about the the crazy health risks to sitting all the time, and so now I'm like kind of feeling uh like I want to stand more. Yeah, let me lower down. What's not working, Barry? Saying, I gotta lower this uh, these settings down. Give me a second, guys. I think it's gonna be a little slow. Yeah, what's not working, Barry? Saying. Oh yeah, yeah. All right. So last night we we're playing. Uh, is this choppy? How's the video on it? Is it all right? Is it all good? Let me read what you guys are saying. Don't speak about it. The app chat is weird. True that Pinder. Yeah, it's still a work in progress, guys. App chat's still a work in progress. It was. Uh, it was made by bears for free, basically, just for the cost of, um, of bandwidth and all that stuff. So we're just, it's a, it's a work in progress and it's, a, it's, it's from the heart. It's a passion project. All right, so last night we had this, um, I did a spontaneous jam session and I wanted to share with you something. Coddington just sent me this. He made... He made a little, uh, a little, uh, hang on a second. Deep thoughts. Oh man, did I not download it? We're going to have a little bit of a slow start today. I'm a little disorganized. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Oh, here it is. Glitch hilarity. I had a bit of a, a Jew spiral on the bear Jew last night. Didn't I bear Jew? Let's take a watch together. Coddington kind of just did a summary of it. And here it is. <laughs> this made me laugh wicked hard. It's just like, oh, what did the bear do at it? I, I'm, I'm obsessed with seeing message deleted by the bear do. Did you just edit Sushi Bear? Bear do. You are being a bad little Jew right now. Oh my God, bear do's deleting all kinds of shit. No, oh, I'll show you one right here, bear do. If you can control the weather. Let's analyze this, bear do. That's just one of many I just witnessed. Message deleted by the Bear Jew. Dude, all he said was not all Owen. Hang on a second. Bear Jew may be losing his fucking abilities here. Even though he's like literally one of my favorite bears, by the way. We like text a lot. Hang on. But he's like the little brother I never had when it comes to just busting balls. We're going to fucking leave up another one. Okay. This is another. This is in the Hall of Shame, Bear Jew. All it says is not all Owen. This isn't deletable shit here, Bear Jew. Bear Jew deletes. What rhymes with deletes? A bunch of Jews control my chat. It is true. 
I gave my power to Dolab and the Bear Jew. Because the Goyim were unreliable, and I think many of them are on meth. I trust the Jews, but not all the fucking Jews, because Bernie Sanders is a dick. And George Soros and one dude that runs the Fed is a, a dick. But most Jews are super fair. I don't care, Adam Sandler's the man, he is the man, he likes to eat clams. I don't fucking know. Alright, Coddington's in the house. <clears throat> Best situated by Coddington Bear. Coddington Bear, what, what, what's going on with our guys? Why was he deleted? Why are people deleting shit randomly? Are you guys trolling trolls? Those are fake, Owen. How do I know that? How, do, how does anyone know that? How, do, how does anyone know what's fake? How is that? Wait a minute. How is that fake? Maybe Coddington Bear's fake. Oh, they're, oh, they're copying, pasting, deleted by. That's genius. Man, that's fucking funny. Oh, it's Bear Jew. Bear Jew? Hey. What's up? What's up? Dude, it's a joke. I know you're not really deleting a lot of comments. I'm fucking with you. Hang on, I'm, I'm putting you on speaker. Talk to the people. Hello, everybody. I'm kind of drunk and so is Owen. This is fun. Uh, I'm going to go back to playing fun songs. We'll, we'll talk later. We'll go back to... Dude, tomorrow can you make it sunny with no rain? Tell your people. You can... You oh, by can, the way, I control the weather. I, and, bro, we know. We know. We, we fucking... It's going to rain. It's going to rain beer by you, so you better go outside and open your mouth. Thank you. That's all I asked for. That's why... I, okay, buddy. I love you. I love you too, buddy. Peace. This is exactly what I'm all about. I'm clipping the shit out of this. Do it, Coddington, but keep the clip. I'm not going to... I'm not going to keep it on my thing. But uh, this was fucking what, what the bears are all about. And I needed to be reminded of this. I need to be reminded of what really matters. All right, so that was a good time. Uh, yeah, so set your alerts on YouTube. Because sometimes late at night if I'm having beers or a few beers and I just want to jam and not uh, do like a, a show with a beginning, middle, and end and whatnot, I don't leave them up. Not because I'm not proud of them, but it just, it defeats the whole thing. Like, I like the spontaneous hangs. Like, back in college, I used to just play piano uh, in the dorm lobby. And, and me and my buddies would all just hang out and write music and write songs, and it would just be really fun. And that's what I always liked about these streams. And sometimes, you know, it's a, it's a good thing that, that it's grown and that we have tons of people and we all hang out and stuff. But I, I like to have the, the 11 a.m. shows have some sort of form or a point and to be sober. And sometimes late at night, I just want to drink beers and sing about Jews. Like, for example, here was one I did last night. That This is Soy Boy Extended. Hang on, here we go. Let me frame this up for you. And, and hats off to Coddington Bear who clipped these and sent them to me today. He's a fucking good dude. All right, check this out. Hang on. Smells like soy, he's a soy boy, and he's awful to be around. I hope you die. And he's awful to be around. I just read it on BuzzFeed, so it's death true. And he's awful to be around. Women do not want babies. They want to work in a cubicle their whole life and die. He's awful to be around. Do not make fun of black people because they can't take it because they're not equal to us. He's awful to be around. Trans just means you're crushing it. Chop your dick off, boys. He's awful to be around. What part of Boy Scouts has to do with boys? It can be anybody. Why can't anybody be in Boy Scouts? The words don't mean anything anymore. I think the word boy means soy. I'm 
going to fucking kill myself because I'm terrible. I'm so hammered. He died. <laughs> Why isn't it called People Scouts? My best friend Justin Trudeau said it should be. Justin Trudeau lets anyone fuck him in his ass as long as they promise not to use a condom. <laughs> <laughs> and he's awful to be around. My favorite class is gender studies because it's nonsense and it's about nothing practical. My dad is a billionaire, but I hate him for it. But I need his money just like I need the state. I. Uh, uh, and he's awful to be around. Have you read BuzzFeed today? I glanced at it. It's so fucking badass. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I was kind of losing my mind a little bit, but that's that's fun. All right, my uh, my thing isn't loading. My thing isn't loading. God damn it. Give me a second. That's where the money is, baby. The the creativity. All right. Message deleted by BuzzFeed. You guys are hilarious. Guys, uh, Owen seems so much fun to drink with. Yeah, I am. I have to keep it in check, though. I, I, I only drink maybe once a week, twice a week, and not hard. But, uh, you know, when you put in a long day and everyone's in bed and you have a couple beers. Yeah, my problem is I'm a really good drinker. Like, I don't go dark. I don't get sad. I get, like... It's just so fun. All right. Not hard, just half a case. Yeah, it's true. Maybe I had eight or nine beers last night. But you have to remember, I'm six foot seven, 265 pounds. So take whatever you are and shoot it full of testosterone and breast milk as a child. You blow up, right? You get real big. I need more beer to feel the same as normal dudes. YouTube didn't notify me when you, when you went live. Yeah, it's not doing it today. I got shadow banned. I think it was because I was on Crowder last night. I, I seriously do. That's one reason why I wanted to do Conspiracy Theory Friday. Yeah, we're only there's only 300 people here right now. That's there's a thousand every day, and because um, I got hit up on Media Matters yesterday too, so I figured I was going to get shadow banned. Like um, I'd say less than half of you were notified. That's what they'll do. They'll still notify like 10 percent of the people. But uh, it's bullshit. And I knew it was going to be a, a, a low watch day today because of that. Because I did a, uh, I made fun of Palestine last night on Crowder. And, uh, and I was just on Media Matters. So I wanted to, I wanted to make fun of, I wanted to talk about conspiracy theories. Some are ridiculous. Some are hilarious. Some are more for sure true. God, why am I sounding like an idiot right now? Oh, real quick, check out this video of me and my son playing lacrosse yesterday. This is what it's all about, man. I'm telling you, I know I like to share a lot of uh, videos of me and my family, and that's probably, you know, it's somewhat trusting of the outside world. But I think it's important for young men to see this type of shit. This is what, dude, this is what it's all about. I played lacrosse since I was two years old. Not two, maybe four. A lot of with the, uh, the Native Americans, the American Indians, the, the, the feather, not dot, Indians. And one of my buddies since I was five, John Matika, I was just texting with him yesterday. He's one of my oldest friends in the world. And um, I, ta I talked about him the other day. He lives down in Atlanta. Great dude. He uh, has a family, owns a business, loves Crowder, full-blooded Indian. He's FBI, but not the type that uh, let Hillary Clinton off the hook. And he was an unbelievable cross player, still is. Uh, unbelievable hockey player. You know, had a bit of a rough life, but uh, climbed out of it, and he's just a man. And so I was texting him this video. It, it got me a little emotional, man, because this is like the age when we first started playing. Because the Indians are fucking unbelievable at lacrosse. Like, I think Indians are better athletes than the blacks. I'm just going to say it. I think if they weren't pretty much allergic to alcohol, um, they would dominate every sport that requires endurance especially. It's, it's insane. Like Matika, like a lot of these dudes, like we would play box lacrosse in Canada. And 
like in Quebec and all these places, it would be the, uh, the ice rinks in the summer would just be cement. And you play the tribes, you play the Iroquois Nation, the Mohawk Nation, and all these people. And um, you're allowed to cross check into the boards. And we would just get smoked. And, and we were good. We would like be 10 and 0. And then we'd play an Indian tribe that had like no bench. Like it would be the same kids the whole game. And we'd lose like 30 to 2. It was nuts. Like, they don't get tired. They don't feel pain. They're fucking legendary. So, check this out. This is my son starting yesterday. How cute is that? Top defense, Nice job, bud. <laughs> you. Oh, I got tight defense on me, Walter. Pick, pick. George. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> You're fast. You it. Nice. Dude, that that makes me laugh. It's so cute. I was just reading some in the chat. One dude said something hilarious. He just said, uh, your son is terrible. That made me smile. Uh, a dude named Nathan said that. Real funny stuff. Uh, Eric Nimmer just said, you're out of your cotton pick in mind. I didn't, I didn't think that. I, I thought cotton was still a, um, a sore subject for those guys, but it's good to see these finally getting past it. Nimmer's new special is selling well. People seem to really enjoy it. They're spreading it around. It's awesome. It's great to see. I'm glad that more people are seeing how good he is as a comic. You can get... One for five bucks, hugepianist.com slash specials. Check out Send It. It's the first special I ever produced that I wasn't in. And we pr produced it relatively inexpensively given how many obstacles we had to deal with. So that's why the stage isn't really decorated or produced at all, but I think it almost makes it better. Um, someone else laughed that I said tribe and not team. They are tribes. It's like you're playing the Iroquois nation. And that's one thing that, that kept me, um, fortunately, out of the uh, identity politics scam. Is I grew up with so many Native Americans or Indians, or they don't give a fuck what you call them. They prefer to be called their names. <laughs> uh, that all this bullshit just doesn't work on me. Because it's like a lot of uh, northern New York white kids in small towns it's not as white as you think it's just mostly indian also my wife is half hispanic but it's like the native type not like the uh like kevin kevin hickerson my physics buddy his dad's actually mexican but he's like the white european mexican because mexico is a, a country not a nationality and um he was like the ones that owned my wife's people it's kind of uncomfortable at dinner, but so that's the thing is, is that that genetic lineage is horrible with booze and sugar. Like even my, my wife is in unbelievable shape. She's uh, even 32 weeks pregnant. She, uh, she still has a tight bod. It's kind of incredible, but here's the thing is she is at risk for uh, diabetes. All fucking natives are. And a lot of Mexicans are the same as Indians. It's the same fucking thing. That's why I'm really hopeful that Walter has those uh, endurance genes because those fuckers are fast and they don't get tired. Like my wife was an all league or American or whatever soccer player. She was the best because it's like, I don't know, just thousands of years of running, fucking running down caribou and shit. They just have it. It's like Jews and counting and weather control.
I have pretty sick endurance, though. I think it's just a height thing. It's also a, a Northern European thing. You just like, I'm not fast. I'm not a fast sprinter, but I don't, I can run forever. And I'm, I'm fascinated about what parts of a, the environment make people become whatever. Like why Northern Europeans? Why, I, I learned why they're so tall. This is a theory. <clears throat> why we're so t- tall, is uh, it keeps your vital organs away from the permafrost. Something about heat distribution. That's why our noses are tighter, too, is because cold, dry, cold, dry air needs to be warmed. That's why you need a lot, of surf- uh, a lot of surface area to warm and moisten air before it hits the lungs. And um, that's why around the equator, around the whole world, you have wide noses because you have a lot of humidity and a lot of warmth. So... They can just rocket fuel that air right into their lungs. It's pretty amazing because it's not a black white thing. Like you can see areas of um, Africa that were arid and people have tight noses because they needed to moisten the air. It's fascinating shit, huh? Doesn't explain why the Jews nose are so bad. I'm on this hilarious kick of making fun of Jews and I don't know why. I think it's because Israel's in the media so much and I just make fun of what people talk about. I want to know what... I don't know. I don't know what it is about the the size. Because Sicilians also have huge noses. Neanderthals were a lot smaller and they lived in cold conditions. I know. I'm just throwing out theories. I don't know. Neanderthals were insanely strong. You know that all white people are like 2 to 4% Neanderthal? Isn't that interesting? I don't know what it is about the tall. I, another one of my theories about height for uh, Northern Europeans is the uh, Vikings were so rape heavy that just the biggest dude got all the women through rape. And so everyone just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's why uh, chimpanzees are bigger and stronger than bonobos because bonobos are female uh, driven. Like the, the female just bangs everybody to calm down the dudes. And uh, so the dudes stay real small. That's why they're called pygmy chimps. Because the dudes don't rape. The women are in control of the bonobo population. That's why they're so easily wiped out. Jews' big noses are the key to weather control, says Oliver. I've heard that. It's almost like a giant windsock. Uh, Ozzy Bear in the house. Oh, and look into the intermittent fasting to avoid diabetes onset. Yeah, no, she's cutting out sugar. I think she's fine. She just gets worried. All right, here's a couple of super chats. Can my wife be verified as Tough Bear? Uh, bears for the win. Yeah, welcome, Tough Bear. Theory, Hillary actually became president and is just wearing a Trump suit. Or maybe they're one anamorphic being. Interesting. That's a, Okay, let's get into the conspiracies. Because this is what really got me going. I got a Google alert. Well, there are a few things. One, this was horrifying. This is from comicbook.com. Uh, Solo, a Star Wars story. Writers address Lando's sexuality. Donald Glover and Phoebe Walter-Bridge talk Solo. Uh, yeah, they turn they they turn uh, they turn Solo gay. Uh, Solo's a homo. That's that's horrifyingly stupid. That's just like it, it, they're going so far at this point. Like they made Han Solo gay. Billy D. D. Williams ain't never made love to anyone but a woman many times in the same night. Well, you know, black dudes are notoriously on the down low, especially in the 70s. You know, I'm just joking, by the way. Lando is not gay. Jennifer, did you know there is a conspiracy that redheads are spawns of aliens and will one day rule the world? Because we have no soul, so we can afford it, says Jennifer, the redhead. She's hilarious, by the way. Check her stuff out. She used to make me laugh on Twitter before. I was kicked off Twitter. Yeah, they're making Lando gay. Yeah, lots of black guy, lots of gay black guys, says Duke Chronic. Uh, yeah, there's a conspiracy theory. Theory are all black guys gay? Now that Solo has come out, I think there's a good argument because if 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 um, if Lando's gay. That means every black guy is gay. Conspiracy theory Fridays. Okay, so this is what really got me going. This. So I'm now, uh, Media Matters sent out some alert. MediaMatters.org, 
which is run by George Soros, 